Yo, yo, yo. Welcome into one of the final races of the 2023 Fire Red Leaf Green Interpersonal Tournament. I am truly. I'm a little bit sick, so bear with me today. And I am here with my boy. I'll let him introduce himself. My name's Tucker. Now oh, we know me. I don't play this game. Yes, sir. We're on some comms. We're going to have a good time. I'm going to we're going to start off this race momentarily, and then we'll talk about the runners a little bit. Sure, for sure. I believe on your go, truly. Yes, sir. We're starting in about 15 seconds here. Nice. Um, and yeah, so on the left, we have Math Genius, who is a well-known runner. He is, in my opinion, one of the best runners in this game. Uh, probably has the most knowledge out of anybody. Definitely his. Game. He owns Honestly. this game. It's just... Yeah. Yeah, he's a, that's he's all a he monster. plays, really. Yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure he literally only played this game until recently, like last month, where he started playing Emerald. Um, but yeah, he's top two in Firehead round two. And I believe he's, I mean, he's top five in any percent as well, I believe. Uh, very, very good runner. Um, middle, we got G-Shark. Um, his PB definitely doesn't reflect how good he is at the game, that's for sure. Uh he, he, his PB probably should be a little bit better, but the way this game is, it's just uh, you can play it forever and ever PB. So, uh, yeah, he's definitely not somebody to sleep on in this race. Uh, and we have Odin on the right. Um, not too sure what his PB is, but I, from what I've heard, he is a runner that it's not to be slept on as well in this uh, race. So, um, definitely looking forward to see what uh, these guys have in store today. Definitely should be a good race. Absolutely. To fill you in, Odin has a 2.11.20 as his PB, so not too far off. A time like that can definitely get passed in this uh, in this qualifier for round two. Absolutely. Which is basically saw... what this is. Yeah, Just for sure. Get a good enough time to get into round two. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, and you see Odin. Odin's a little bit behind already, but that's because he's on emulator. So he's going to naturally start... 25 seconds later than the other guys who are both on console because with the way emulator works in this game emulator just runs a little bit faster uh, and the loads are a little bit quicker than console um, and that is you know one of the main reasons why the leaderboards are split between the two seeing so, you know, all the runners do their stuff here they're going to reset as soon as that text box goes away <clears throat> hopefully no rival one deaths that would be cringe i don't think we've seen any of those in this tournament so far Indeed, be cringe. Yeah, this is basically how we emulate, like how um, if a regular fire red leaf green any percent run would go. Normally, you're manipping for this starter. You can wait like a couple of seconds to do so, but mm -hmm. you just have a backup save right here so that you just get right into the business. Yeah. Don't have to worry about doing manips in real time. Yeah, looking across the board, all three of these squirtles are bangers. Honestly, uh, two of the runners have 30 speed, which is my personal favorite. Jeez, or, uh, Matt Genius getting crit. That is not great. Another crit would put him in a very bad spot. Uh, he would die from here with a crit, unfortunately. Okay. Just don't miss. Uh, yeah. You're Smart. set. And then G-Shark, on the other hand, getting a good crit on the Bulbasaur. So these guys are about neck and neck. Uh, yeah, so I, I mean, 30 speed, honestly, is my favorite speed of any speed because you don't really have to worry about anything too crazy. You can just... You literally can just grab the Carbos for Sabrina, use it, and you don't have to X-Speed on either Blaine or Sabrina, so it's very nice. Whereas G-Shark being 31 speed, if he doesn't get five speed EDs, you're kind of forced to not... Uh, you're kind of forced to not get the Carbos, because that puts you in a situation on Bruno where you're kind of locked into doing the uh, guard spec strats on him, which kind of suck to be locked in to do, but we'll see when we get there how this goes. Yeah, it's kind of funny how 30 is a little, a little more preferable than 31. Yeah, 30 is definitely my favorite. G-Shark getting no encounters, Math Genius. Let's go his level two rat here, EXP. Yeah. 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 Odin getting the P Mark Guy potion. It's pretty standard stuff. There's three potions you can acquire before the Weedle Guy. Usually you see people... Yeah. Three, three people... Usually you just see people grab the one... 
the Mark guy and the one right, the hidden one right before Sammy, the Weedle guy. Uh, there's also one a little bit out of the way. It's probably, I don't know, probably like 10, 15 steps out of the way right before Sammy. Uh, and normally you'd probably grab that one if you already used one before Sammy, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> Just looking back at these Squirtles, they, they're all rash, they have good speed, mm -hmm. they have good attack. That's what Absolutely. I'm noticing here. So, um, all good. And also, on the other hand, I did not, I'm pretty sure Matt Genius will be doing late surge. G Shark will be doing early surge, and I'm not too sure about um, what Odin's going to be doing here. But again, we'll just see when he gets there. We'll be able to tell after Brock with the shopping he does right. what uh, what Rowdy's doing. Yeah, sell a little bit to uh, purchase more items so that you can do early surge. What are the odds of a level 2 Rattata using and hitting two tackles in a row? 50-50 uh, to use tackle and then whatever, 95% to hit each. So a bit, probably a bit under a quarter. Yeah. Auden finds Pidgey. He's going to kill yeah. that. I think this is the 1% on the way down, if I'm correct. It was. Oh, uh, yeah. It's actually a good 1%, though, to get that. Because I don't think he got any experience on the way up, so. G-Shark has no experience yet, I believe. Taking an extra step in the grass. Fascinating, but that's okay. Getting this level 3 bird. Maybe I'm... Yeah. Honestly, I would, like, I know you probably want to catch here, but, like, if you're going to three-shot a bird, I mean, I'd, I kind of want to kill this, low-key, but that's fine. It's it's not, the, it's not the end of the world here. This is a 78% catch. Yeah, you definitely have options, because you need to catch something to fly with, and also a cutter. Yeah. But also, you need EXP as well. Yeah, Math Genius coming in clutch with the knowledge. Math Genius getting the level 4 bird, he'll, oof. That's an annoying crit. It's probably going to be a catch for him. Another 78%. He might potion on this turn. He does. Or he does not. I lied. A breakout here would be not great. G-Shark getting another level 3 bird. Killing it for his experience. It will not 3-shot unless he crits. I mean, he could high roll and it would die. but Not quite. A lot of level 3 birds showing up today. Yep. It's a good roll. Wait, so they all got birds, right? Yeah. Yeah, all birds. So everybody has their flyer. Um, <laughs> I think everybody has half of their EXP. Yeah, we'll see if Antigua gets a rat. He does not. Yeah. If if Matt Genius probably would have saw a level 2 bird there, or... If he would have saw a level 2 bird, he probably would have killed it for the... Should try to get bubble, but it's not not the end of the world. Yeah, I mean this is honestly very close coming out of the gate. I mean everybody has their bird, everybody has their experience. Uh, I'm pretty sure Matthew is the only one that uses potion. So we will see how this force goes. And yeah, if anybody's wondering, this is one of the last races, or there's two races today. Uh, one's going on right now, and this one. Uh, after these races. Round one, that would mean round one is completed. We'll know, you know, everybody that's advancing to the second round. And I'm not too sure when the draws will happen for round two, but I'm imagine that would be, you know, either today or tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, so I was just told it would, so I'm just told it would be uh, tomorrow at. 2 p.m. CST, which I'm not too sure. What is that? Three o'clock Eastern. Yeah. So, Three yeah. One on. It's definitely a lot of implications on the line between these two races. Mm -hmm, a lot of people watching with uh, open eyes. Yeah, absolutely. Myself included. Absolutely. One of, the, one of the guys on the bubble right now is truly... Yeah, I'm definitely on the edge to see if I'll advance or not. Uh, and I don't want anybody to do bad. I don't want anybody to place under me, but I, I kind of want to advance. So, like, it, it's kind of a weird spot to be in because I'm friends with some of these guys. And, you know, I don't want to see nobody do bad. So... But I also want to see myself advance. So, it's, it's a very sticky situation. 
So I read the script. You're gonna be fine. Hope so. G Shark is. Let's check all their health. Ten. Matt Genius is max. Ten and seven. Uh, you're probably gonna see everybody save for Sammy for sure. There's no reason not to. Yeah, G Shark getting that potion I was telling you about. We're a little bit out of the way, but it's worth it for a little bit extra safety. Yeah, with his HP, definitely more likely to be used. Man, a lot of encounters. Yeah. Yeah, oh, force just sucks, crazy. man. It's just I wish we kind of knew the, the like the encounter rates in the forest, because like the way the encounters work in this game, it's like every step you don't get an encounter after your one percent tiles, like that that rate of encounter rate per tile just keeps going up and up and up per tile. It's just so like, we don't really, I don't even think we know exactly like what the odds per tile is and like the rate it goes up. But uh, Odin getting a turn frame encounter that's cringe. Now he has to take another. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, Matt's Genius with the Poison Turn 1 and Tackle Miss. Or Poison Turn 2 and the Tackle Miss. No, it's Poison Turn 1 and then he missed Tackle the second turn. My apologies. Yeah, nobody has Bubble here either, so this fight is naturally going to be a little bit worse without it. Oh, not opting not to heal on that turn. He would have got crit, he would have died. That's okay. Yeah, Matt Genius definitely could use a crit here. He, wow, he misses again. That sucks. He has to heal on this turn. Oh, there he did he not. I guess... Uh, I guess not. No, I mean, technically he didn't because he still tanked the Poison Sting and Poison Tick. So, he would only die to a crit or a high roll. Yes. Yeah, oh, I man. Winning <laughs> out of 1 HP. G-Shark definitely... I mean, not G-Shark, sorry. Matt Genius definitely knows how to play that, so... Yeah, under plenty sure. of times. Yeah, and I respect that because if he would have healed on that turn, he wouldn't have the potion for Brock's gym. Uh, yeah, he definitely kind of want a potion for the gym in this. Yeah, he's going to five. Yeah, with all these Squirtles, and they're all poison too. That's worth noting. I don't think I've seen that. Uh, all these guys are definitely going to be going to five HP here, going into the gym. I would imagine because that's just naturally what you go to with a, a just a not bad defense rash and decent HP. Yeah, I mean, you can technically shop before Brock, but I mean, you can't afford everything you need. So like, you're naturally gonna have to do two shops if you decide to, if you decide to uh, shop before Brock. Which isn't the craziest thing, but like, you definitely don't wanna be doing that. Like, you'd much rather just pick up all three potions before uh, Pewter here. I mean, yeah, it probably wouldn't be about a minute. It probably, I, don't, I don't really know the exact timing, but you probably, you gotta think about the time it takes to walk there, the time it takes to shop, and the time it takes to take the steps back to go. But yeah. That's genius. I mean, this is a very close race. I mean, everybody, ha like, they all have one slave. They all have torrent. Yeah, for sure. Uh, G-Shark and Auden. I'm going to five before Liam, is that normal? Yeah, that, that's yeah, it's normal. Yeah, it's normal. Five is around the HP you're always going. Like, like normally when I don't remember what HP I'm going to, I'm just assuming I'm going to five. Like, cause it's five is just there's HP you always go to. If you're mild, you're probably going to like six. Yeah. Every time, but you know, good rolls here for everybody. And attack for G Shark. Hope he gets this. Nice. Nice range. Not the best roll for Odin. Yeah, lives on one. Stinks. It's a very solid, I mean, start for everybody all around, to be honest. Definitely. Uh, let me open up something really quickly. So, F Genius with 29 defense here. Um, Rock Tomb does 8 to 10, so he's out of that range. That's good. So, Tackle's doing 4. So, ideally, you see Tackle and then you get range. If he sees Tackle and misses range, he'll probably heal on the next turn. He's going to withdraw. I like this. Because uh, now he lives. Brockton's doing six, so he's just out of range. Bind miss there would have been really good because 
he would have been very, very safe from there. Uh, this is range. He kind of has to heal here, or he just yellows. Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. No wow. way! That's insane. Tackle and miss. So this, this HP is now insane Mary. for him. Uh, G Sharp misses range. He's gonna have to heal. Odin gets range. Holy! Tackle what a turn of events that was. to miss, and <laughs> definitely needed that to live that fight. Yeah. So like potioning, whenever you're already withdrawn, is just so bad because you're losing so many turns trying to get deeper into. Uh, yeah, as you can see, G Shark here. Yeah, That's a stall. Gonna... Mm -hmm. You really want Torrent for all of Route 3, basically. So yeah, you are getting hit from 3 from Tackle, so he's already withdrawn. Like, uh, it's just it's wasting a bunch of turns. So, Matt Genius in first, closely behind is Auden. G Shark will get there eventually. I think he's there now. Oh, no. Alright, G Shark probably kills on this turn now. He's gonna get the Bind Tick. Ideally, he gets Tackle on this turn, this would make his HP actually be pretty good. Yeah, nice. Don't get crit. Okay, nice. You. Yeah. All right. Everybody's coming out in good HP though, honestly. Yeah. No deaths yet. I was about to see that. Yep. I mean, Matt Genius with a 14 Brock. I think Odin had a 14 Brock as well with one, which honestly is pretty solid for a race, 100%. Uh, I mean, like. I can open up this HP chart actually. We can kind of look at their. Let me open this up really quick. So I'll tell you exactly what. Yeah, pretty much. So what you want is you want to have Torrent for at least level 13 and 14. If you're that, you don't have to stall for it for level 15. Like, if you're torn for 13, 14, you never stall for 15. But ideally, you keep it for 13, 14, and 15. I mean, ideally, you keep it 13, 14, 15, and 16, and then you evolve, and then also you're in torrent still. Like, it's it's very rare for that to be the, the case, but... Math Genius is 7. Um, at this, yeah, he's good. He'll have it for, he'll have it for 14 and 15, for sure. Hmm. Huh. Odin, on the other hand, it's going to only have it for 13 and 14. Um, so not, not too bad. I mean, it's it's definitely better to have it for 13 and 14 than to not have it at all. So, and I believe G-Shark, I don't know what his AP was coming out, but we'll be able to tell that here shortly. Oh, it was pretty low. It was like... I don't know. It's probably seven. Well, I've seen Odin did stall there, so now he has Torrent for 13, 14, and 15. I'm not the biggest fan of stalling Net. for, for uh, 15 Torrent, but you know it's not the end of the world at the end of the day, honestly. The deeper Torrent you are, honestly, the safer Moon will be because you can fight Bugcatcher and you don't really have to worry about Anything like that? Uh, yeah, so G Shark, I believe. Let me see his. I don't think he gets a plus three. As long as he doesn't get a plus three, he should keep it. No, even with the plus three, he would keep it, right? Because no, no, it'd be forty. It'd be... Fourteen and forty-one is. No, yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Didn't want to get yeah. that. So he'll be thirteen out of forty. So he'll be torrent for fourteen. And then Odin, on the other hand. Yeah, Odin on the other hand gets that plus three, but I mean, 14 out of 42 is Torrent, so that's nice. Yeah, they all need cutters too, so... At this health, I would expect Math Genius to probably fight Bugcatcher, uh, G-Shark... Depending on what happens on the next fight, he'll probably fight... Rocket. Um... And Odin, Odin might fight Rocket as well. Uh, Mass Genius is speed pausing right before the pass. Yeah. Uh, no big deal there, but I mean, get through. Nobody will know what happened. He just, uh, phased through. Yeah. yeah. Mass Genius opting the menu before he gets the Persim. I mean, I guess he can just equip it on a different menu. It's not that big of a deal. I 
think the benefit of doing I'll that is so that if you like mess up the menu for the walker, then they'll get by. Yeah, perhaps. Whereas, like, if you mess up some menus in inside Mount Moo, then like we can potentially see you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, D Shark. I'd say D Shark definitely fights Rocket here. Oh, Matching just needs Paris. Because he's on oh, fire red. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's also uh, yeah. a good note. Yeah, that so was to a safe cast. The G Shark would have taken that, but he didn't. I guess his thing. Wait, he's just getting. I thought his. I thought his thing paused. <laughs> but like, okay, that's unfortunate. Yeah. But... There is a cool, yeah, there is a cool little pass you can do after that guy. Uh, but not everybody knows how to do it, but I didn't know what happened there. I was very confused. Ooh, Odin fighting Josh. This is he is Torrent, so that's fine. He gets quick attack. That's fine. I didn't see if he saved for this, but I hope he did. Because he's just one crit away from death here. It's only one in three to use quick attack, so it's not. Ooh, okay. Ooh. So he's good. I do believe he would live a crit from the Zubat as well. Zubat's a 10 and 16, I think, from here. And Torrent. This is it, unfortunately. Okay, nice. Pass that. Tackle. Yeah, you could have. Yeah, I don't know. No real need to save Water Gun PP here, but, you know, no big deal. Yep. Gonna see runners get the revive here. It's a nice safety yeah. net. That was a nice pass from Math Genius. There's a cool pass you can do here. G-Shark's gonna fight this guy. But there's a cool pass you can do where you can walk up. You can, like, run to walk and then, like, pause one tile away from him. And then if, as long as the Rocket Guy doesn't, like, turn up, why you pause if you do it correctly he'll never be able to see you so it's pretty cool and you can like save you a couple seconds from just opening up the tm case and stuff like that yeah definitely faster to go for these uh start flash minutes than to bag minute it's a good speed. tackle for g shark if he misses the range he does goes for it okay nice um so like you get the tackle there so at this hp he could have tanked you know quick attack and tackle do the same amount of damage on this fight um, so yeah, he was, he was only one in four to die there. Technically probably a little under one in four because Hyper Fang can miss. So. And he had the revive as well and he also saved, so he would have been fine, but it's all good. Um, yeah, the thing about the revive is that there's some fights where you can skip saving if, as long as you have the revive. Um, so the longer that you have the revive and get good fights, like, you know, the less that you have to save, really. Yeah, exactly. And see what Matt Genius got on the Grimer, but he's through the Grimer. The Grimer's like the biggest, it's not, I don't, I don't want to say threat. Threat's not a good word. It's just like, it can kind of troll you if it poisons you and then you have to do some stuff. And 16 he missed the 14 and 16 that's so annoying wow oh miss 14 and 16 into smog hit into poison pretty annoying oh uh, he's gonna have the menu here because he needs a cutter so he needs to health normally if you get poison on this fight and you have both your slaves you can you can just let your war turtle die and then just revive it with your rare candies and then potion it up so it's not the end of the world if you do get poisoned on that last turn but um yeah. grab the extra antidote a little bit of safety i don't mind it it's gonna look for paris yep just stalling out in this room for the revive there it is As he's getting his water gun disabled, that's so troll. It's stun spore, and that's the leaf green difference right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just so annoying getting your water gun disabled there, because it's 1 4 to use disable and then has to hit disable. It's just so annoying. 
It's in, though, the Paris. It's good. Math Genius is now cruising a little bit. So, yeah, Math Genius is in the lead here for sure. He has both. Where G Shark and Moden both need their cutters. Yeah. I am calling the under, though, at Amiibo with the under 1.5 Sand Trues. Now. Yeah, another thing with Fire Red, you kind of have to get your pair of heals early because you're catching Paris. So you kind of have to play around that. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. I might be wrong with the... with the over. Sanchu's really... Oh, that's such an annoying crit, man. Sanchu's so good to get, and then you just crit. Aww. That's so annoying. Getting Sanchu early saves you some time. Wow. <laughs> back to back Sanchu's. Okay. Back to back I mean, I mean you take that. I mean, the over wins. I mean, um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you're technically right. The over does win there. Holy. Yeah, chuck the great ball at this thing. I don't know what the catch rate is at this health. I would maybe like to see one more time. Wow. The shark. <laughs> the over wins. Holy moly. This <laughs> is crazy. Yeah, do you start tackling again? If you got, as long as you got the great ball, this is. Guaranteed catch. Math genius doing some stuff here. You see I don't. You. I don't mind this, honestly. He has a he has a lead. If he dies to Misty, he comes back to this center, and also doesn't lose any and doesn't lose any pair heals, doesn't lose any potions. So it's not not the craziest thing in the world. Obviously gonna go, uh, forgo the save, because he did that. Yeah, and the reason Sandshrew's good, obviously, or not obviously, uh, um, it's, uh, it can, it can save you having to teach Strength later, where pretty much, whenever you teach Blizzard, you can pretty much combine teaching Blizzard and teach Strength to Sandshrew in that same menu, compared to later in the run, you have to open up the TM case again and then teach Strength. It's pretty annoying. So it's pretty nice to get a Sand True. It doesn't happen often. But... Mass Genius says that he forgot to equip the person, so, you know, hopefully. So oh, he got past the Star You. Scratch free. He's yeah, probably he's like. He's probably like 50 50 here to see either one, maybe. I don't I don't know how to tell, but. Yeah. Not punished, likely. Though. Yeah. So you can save it for Sabrina. Yeah. He'll be skipping X speed on Sabrina, so he'll be fine for that. But there is some other stuff that can confuse you later in the run. Oh, yeah. Odin missing the range on Star U. That's pretty annoying. Uh, that range is like a 236 out of 256 range. So like it's really stupid to miss that range. G Shark got a horrible roll on turn one, but hits the range anyways. No confuses yet, I believe. It's not a good roll for Odin. Going for it anyways. Because she's already used her super potion, it's worth just a bite here again. It gets the range nice. nice. Love to see it. I believe Matthew just got a low 27 Misty, which is yeah, very solid. 2701. 2701. Okay. So Odin's a little Wow, that's so annoying. Uh, shark. He got crit on that sure. turn, man. He he literally just had to not get crit on that turn and he won. Yeah, that's rough when so, both of the uh, both your competitors are just not dying. Yeah. We'll see how Math Genius's fight goes here. Please don't do it again, Misty. Thank you. Oh, we got a little decrit anyway. Okay. Hey. Yeah, so Math Genius about a minute and a half ahead of G Shark, less than a minute ahead of Odin. We'll see how this fight goes from Bulbasaur. He's my favorite HP, 28. Getting sleep powder is like, yeah, it's like typical. Wow, getting leech oh, seed from that health, that nice. sucks. He needs a swap for sure. Yeah, he just has no choice, realistically. I don't know if he could opt the potion on this turn. Yeah, I mean, 
Potion on that turn, you could technically, but I mean, that puts you above half, which puts you probably right back into the same situation where you have to swap and your curves, you're probably getting leech seed again. And oh, goes no. for the kick. This is, this is the kick. It would have been a range from there. I mean, he has to go for the kick again. It's still a range. Misses it. Wow. wow. Cool. I mean, all right. I mean, resets. Yeah, it's probably the play, to be honest. That's really unfortunate. Getting leech seed from that health, that's the whole reason. Oh, no, on the other hand, getting the flinch. Getting the flinch hit. Wow, no, I'm just cruising. Odin is in the lead now. G Shark had a death to Misty, and Machine just suffered one to the yeah, I mean, Now, G Shark and Machine is pretty much synced. Odin is cruising now with this health. So we'll see how this goes. I'll watch G Shark, you watch Machine. Let's see. G Shark's going to heal on this turn, I would imagine. Yes. Matt Genius. Pass Pidgeotto with sand. Yeah, under half health as well, that's worth noting. Not your favorite to not get sand now. Or not sand. Leech seed. Oh, look, that G Shark did get sand from his health, which is nice. very unlucky. Matt Genius dodges Sleep Powder. Wow. And yes. he hits Psychic. Very good. Sleep Powder miss is so good, man. No, I mean, the main reason Sleep Powder miss is good because it's fast, obviously, but then it gives you. Two, literally gives you two chances to hit your kick so always nice to have that extra turn to use your kick it's also worth noting g shark does not have a revive anymore so if he dies here oh, this he oh. honestly should just reset i think like this is really bad no, yeah, no definitely reset after the, that miss that's oh, brutal so brutal man I mean, yeah, I mean, I would say, like, everything that's happened so far, I think it's comfortable to say that that might be the case. So hopefully, Matthew is can, or G Shark, sorry, can get a better fight here this time. Not having the revive in this fight is so brutal because you're literally just forced to hit the kick, and if you don't, you just have to reset and try again. Getting right into it. Here we go again. Please. Wow, that's so troll, man. That's just not fair at all. Ugh. This is, yeah, I mean... That's just what this fight is, man. It's just hit for your life. Literally the majority of the time. Odin hitting his kick on Oddish. He's actually now cruising on bridge. Once you get past this Oddish, you are literally cruising. You start missing the range, man. That's so unfortunate. It's literally like, I don't know, 243 out of 256 or something to hit that bite water pulse range on Pidgeotto. Rash 15. Lineup's doing 17 to 19 here. Uh, he could opt to maybe potion on this turn. He does. Matt Genius hitting his kick on Oddish. He is now cruising. He's arranged to die here now, Divine Whip. 17 to 19. Okay, please, game. Finally, thank goodness. Takes so much to hit, just one kick. Literally. And, and yeah, it just shows why Sleep Powder Miss is so good, because you just, you just get multiple chances to hit that kick. I mean, that's, that's like one of the best ways the fight can go, though. Like, instead of getting Sleep Powder, you just get Divine Whip right away, and you can just get right into it and just hit your kick has to potion because he's in quick attack range all right i mean now these guys are cruising but i mean uh g shark just oh my goodness it's just such a brutal fight there i think he died what twice right and they weren't even like fast deaths either like they were and uh, he had to Crawl his way back to even save those fights, and he still dies. Oh yeah, I can imagine G Shark is not happy at this moment. I mean, the thing is, there's literally nothing he did wrong, man. Like, it's he literally got crit by Misty, and that put him in a situation where he was just forced to hit his kick, and if he didn't, he has to just redo it all. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, once you get past the Oddish on the bridge, you're literally, you literally just cruise until you get to the final fight before Bill. Yeah. Uh, where you have to hit more kicks. It's just, I mean, I, I guess I shouldn't say cruising because you still have to pass Dan, but... Not um, like a not like a death risk there. It's just time yeah, loss if you exactly. hit Yeah. And I mean, hitting Dan with early surge can also be good if you're in torrent because that gets you level 25 for the Haley, which is that last girl before Bill. Uh, if you're in torrent and level 25, you can go for uh, the torrent water pulse on the first Oddish, which is 13 and 16. So it's very nice to be able to go for that instead of having to hit the 75% kick. Odin, um, looks like he's doing early surge as well. Uh, typically you fight uh, that Hiker Franklin if you're in Torrent and doing early surge. So. Yeah, okay, yeah. G Shark goes for double win launch. Yeah, uh, I like that a lot. Yeah. I'm a big fan of doing that every single time, honestly, in a race. like. You can just get chain miss, and then if you literally chain miss, it is just worth a double bite. And I just hate having to risk the chain miss. Yeah, at his and HP, I think it was. Like, yeah, good. One hundred percent. Odin gets past Dan. I didn't see if he bagged, but he got past him regardless. And it gives you more kicks later for you know the last fight before Bill. Mm -hmm. So it's very nice. Yeah, Math Genius is doing late surge, but he's not in torrent and his attack's pretty good, so he's gonna fight Um He's gonna he's just gonna fight a different trainer later in uh in Rock Tunnel. Math Genius his, uh, gets the safe uh not the safe pass, the fast pass. Yeah. One in sixteen to get hit, but I mean you take that for sure. And I'm unsure if with late surge, if you hit Dan you need that little bit of extra experience i'm sure math genius knows this but i'm unsure if you hit the if you hit him and if that experience you get off dan is enough to not have to fight the the different trainer in rock tunnel i don't remember and math genius answers that yes dan is enough so there's the answer so yeah honestly that's not even like a bad risk for him to take that dan pass because hitting him, he just fights the normal guy in Rock Tunnel, and then he just has his extra experience, and he's good. Mm -hmm. Odin get the Ornberry. Everybody's good now. We'll see how this fight goes for Odin. Fight can just go so easy, or it can just troll so hard. He did hit the first kick. He is in torrent going for 13-16. Worth it. Or that was a 6 and 16, I apologize. At level 25. Opting to save his kick for Um Let me see if I'll explain why that's good. Him saving one kick there in torrent. Matching is missing his kick, it's annoying. Get absorbed, not torrent. Uh, yeah, so when you have one kick coming out of this fight in Torrent, that allows you to delay using the Ether until Boat, uh, which pretty much just saves you a full menu, so it's it's worth it, honestly, to save a kick there. It's pretty much like, normally you grab the Ether, you have to use it because you have no kicks, but if you have one kick and Torrent, that gives you the one kick for the Drowsy, but if you miss the kick, you can just go for the you know, either bite it or just go for the water pulse range. So, or you would always go for the water pulse range, but because bite never kills. It might sounds worth it. We'll check G Shark's damn pass here. I didn't see what his math genius has a 38, 39, 38, 40 bill. I'm gonna write that down. I believe Odin's probably like 10 15 seconds ahead of that, so I'll say like 38, probably like 25. Gotta keep track of the pace. Oh, 
Also did not see G-Sharks getting past because I was focusing on other stuff, but I'm assuming he got past. Yeah, Math Genius, I'm assuming, has no kick, so he has to do the ether. This is the extra menu I was talking about. Odin misses that kick, so now it's hypnosis. That's annoying. Oh, he has two kicks, so I apologize. He had two chances to hit that kick, so yeah, it's always correct to just not ether early. How important is it to ether MG just use? Oh uh, yeah, it's not that important. I mean, you can always just, I mean, the kick is for this drowsy and also for the Raticate if you're not in Torrent, the Raticate fight after this fight. Um, if you're in Torrent, you can Water Pulse Raticate, it dies. It just loses, you know, you'll just, you probably just double bite the drowsy or double Water Pulse it. And it's just, you know, you're losing a turn pretty much. Maybe an extra turn if he statuses you, but it's not the end of the world. I'm guessing G-Sharp missed a kick, and now he's potioning. Classic. Odin getting the Citrus Berry, it's a really good strat for early surge, honestly. G-Shark just cannot catch a break, man. Just missing so many kicks. I I don't know how many kicks he's missed this run, but it's Oh, there's another one, dude. Like it, it's more it's over at least six or seven at this point. Oh my gosh, dude. He's got to be not happy at all here. Oh, more than you, finally, easily. Only hits, man. He died to rival two twice to miss kick, and he just missed four kicks, I think, on that fight as well. Odin water pulse in the rat, chilling. Matching's gotta go for the kick on the rat because he's not torrent. Ugh, you start having. <laughs> he got the six and sixteen range there, but oh my goodness. The damage is already done. He should have to use his revive in like Moon, right? Is that right? Uh, or, uh Misty, Misty. Uh, uh, Misty. It's it's pretty annoying. I mean, he's definitely gonna have to play around not having the revive now. It's definitely nice to have it as long as you can keep it. Meanwhile, Cougar did Misty rival without saving. Wow. Wow. Well. I just, uh, it just, it kind of annoys me when people play risky and they get rewarded, but, you know, who, who, I don't know, who am I? Because I know if I did that shit, then I would, no, I apologize, I didn't mean to say that, if I did that, then I would, I would definitely die. I think you can, I think you can cuss. I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I probably can, I... <laughs> Damn, again, I just, you know, I know it's gonna get uploaded to YouTube. Probably just don't want it to, but whatever, whatever. Copy that. Yeah, Math Genius. This is the Math Genius doing late surge. This is, uh, in my opinion, the worst fight on the late surge route. It's not even close. This fight is just horrible. You go into the fight over at over at max HP, first of all, and. Uh, that one puts you in a situation where you're probably getting sand right away from the Pidgeotto, which he got. And now you're over half for the Ivysaur, which means you're favored to get Leech Seed. And Odin went in, look at, I mean, on the other screen, Odin went in and Torrent, so he could just Water Pulse the rat right away. Doesn't have to worry about it. Wow. What a crit from Athenius. Wow. Oh, my. So, yeah, Athenius is good. He's through, for sure. Yeah, Odin over half now gets Leech Seed. The, there's the point proven about that. Ah, I would have liked to see a swap there when you get Leech Seed right away. So now he's asleep and he's Leech Seeded, so he's going to have to... Yeah. He's got a double sack here to get where is the Leech Seed in. The yeah, exactly. Sleep. And this... Yeah, so like it's just it just stinks being in a situation because now Odin could just have a really slow death here if it doesn't go his way here. Hopefully, he just hits this. He does. Okay, nice. 
Yeah, I could literally lose like two minutes if he didn't hit that. Okay, he just hits hits. It's just that easy to hit two kicks in a row, but if you're watching G Shark, you would not think it was that easy. Yeah, I think Matt Genius is coming out of this fight at very high HP. Another reason why, uh, well, being in Torrent coming out of Boat Rival is ideal, but it doesn't always work that way. Um, there's there's a lot more ranges on the Rock Tunnel and Giovanni 1 split whenever you do not have Torrent before Rock Tunnel with early surge or late surge, I apologize. So yeah, Math Gene is comfortably in a lead here, but if Odin gets a good gym, uh, that lead will definitely be that lead will definitely be closed a little bit. Max Ether Strats. I don't mind that, to be honest. Um, that grabbing that max ether pretty much means you can you're always doing kick strats I believe uh, for Lavender Rival which you definitely want to be doing that always in my opinion when you're racing you never really want to be doing pull strats but or I say pull strats but I mean x spec strats compared to x attack strats Even with Matthewness doing late surge here, I still believe he's in a little bit of a comfortable lead. We'll see how his rock tunnel goes because you can lose a lot of time on these next two splits if things don't go well, but... Maybe Odin is doing late surge. Grabbing the bike voucher now. Uh, yeah, G-Shark had... G-Shark had two deaths. To rival to, well one he got crit by Misty and died on the very last turn. He went two for seven on kicks since Misty. Uh, died to rival two twice. And yeah. Just got very, very unlucky. Um looking like he shark getting trolled a little bit here. Uh he's gonna have to super potion on this turn. Odin is doing uh, early surge. Search early. Yes. Okay. Ooh, here we go. It's pretty fast first game. Absolutely. Definitely take that. I was not paying attention to G Shark on Rival 2. I, or Rival 3. I apologize. G Shark, I should have been looking at that. Wow, and he gets reset wow. this can. So, I mean, yeah, just like that. I mean, if he gets a quick surge, I mean, he's. Just right back in it with Mad Genius, so. Mad Genius is hitting his kicks, cruising. Yeah, so Mad Genius is at max HP here, so it's not great for this section when you're doing Light Surge. Hopefully it just pays off and he can just get some ranges and that's all that really matters. It could just not matter if you just get ranges, but... We will see what happens. With the citrus berry for Odin. I'm gonna turn our eyes here to Odin for a little bit to see how the surge fight goes. Definitely can change the race a huge amount here. Whether he gets past surge. With the citrus berry helps a lot. No, there's no F. We're just trying to fix a little bit of stuff here. Get a little bit more synced and some audio fix. So, no big deal. I mean, we're going to have little hiccups, but uh, nothing nothing uh, too crazy. We'll be back up for sure. Over the bite on the Venonat over here. He gets the flinch. Okay, he's cruising now on that. That Venonat can confuse you. Uh, so, let's see. 13 Rash here for Odin. So that means Shockwave is going to do 41 to 47. I should say 40 to 48 with the mineral and max roll. So we'll see what happens here. Gets Shockwave right away. Interesting. Um, but he has a Citrus, so this is honestly fine. So he just Water Pulses again, I think. Wow. What a great. 
Oh what my! A fight. Holy sh moly, dude! Who is Surge? That's crazy. You never see it lead Shockwave right away, and it led Shockwave. Like that's that's such a good fight, dude. That's yeah. insane. High HP Shockwave, like not only see like double team. It's just pretty insane. That's like the best fight you can get with Citrus. Like you, like if you don't have Citrus there, you're honestly in a situation where you're literally forced to double swap, and like, oh, that's so good. So fast first can. First try second can, and that search fight. Yeah. Auden is just cooking right now. First the one percent tiles, but didn't get an encounter. Got a couple extra tiles that weren't one percent there for Odin, but it's fine. Or Odin, I apologize. She start getting trolled by cans. Over here, Mad Genius is still cruising. We'll check on him in a second when he goes to Martha. I would still say even with Odin or Odin being through Surge already, that Mad Genius still has a slight lead with the amount of fights he's ahead. But so it looks like G Shark got resetless cans there too, which is very nice. Because mm -hmm. getting that can right there, like getting the can after you fight the gentleman, is so good because uh, that means you don't have to save again for Surge. Because you can just reset. Get the can and then just go to surge again. Um, matching this on Martha. Can't trying to see what's happening here. Okay, Matthews or not Matthews G Shark is starting his surge fight. Go for the bite. I'm assuming that's good. G Shark is 15 rash, same roll 40 to 48. Looks like he got paired on the first turn. Going, oh, this is the first water pulse. Oh, that's annoying. Double team yeah. again. Now it's 60% to hit 50%. this water pulse. Misses. Oh, this is classic surge, man. Team. Math Gene is stalling a little bit on Bulbasaur. I actually like this, to be honest. Wow, we are down to 43% on these water pulses. Good lord. Yeah, yeah, just yeah no, reset just, just reset yeah. this. Wow, I mean... <laughs> brick also after brick. Note, yeah. Break the root, seriously. Uh, it looks like Odin, something happened here on his side. He was poisoned. Opt the swap. Uh, he has to just let his Pidgey die here. I mean, I don't know. I don't think he can swap. He can split experience here. I don't. Not sure how this is going to work out. He could just fight the Hiker Lenny, maybe, and that would make up for the experience. Um, I'm not sure. He did not kill the whole tour. Pidgey is draining the levels. Yeah, so I do want to note here real quick that uh, what Matt Genius did there, he was full HP going into Martha, got paralyzed on the first turn, opted not to heal it, which is typically you would just heal that right away, but opted not to heal it, killed the, killed the Oddish, then went to the Bulbasaur because he was such high HP. He elixired right away to stall the turn to take a little bit more damage. Then uses Paraheal to take a little bit more damage. And now his health is looking in a really good position because of the, what he did there. So that's just like, that's just stuff that you wouldn't really see many runners do. But with Math Genius's game knowledge, like he just knows like stuff like that. It's just, I don't know, really cool. And I like stuff like that. G Shirt gets past Surge. Yeah, I didn't see how the second fight goes that time around I apologize for that yeah he he like missed the Voltorb range and it was confused but it hit through so he uh lost time there but um looked like the rest of the fight went well okay nice take that yeah Matt Genius did fight the Hiker Lenny which is that guy I was talking about earlier that you have to fight that has one extra poke because he's doing early or late surge um, yeah, all runners past Surge, I mean, I mean, not, Math Genius isn't, but he will be later. Like, yeah, Math Genius is definitely uh, still in a comfortable lead here, I would say. Supersonic hit there for Odin. Maybe he has the Persian Berry. 
Nah, actually, I don't mind going for that hit through because a little bit of damage would have been good to get deeper health to potentially get torrent, but no big deal. Is Auden poisoned? He is. So he's going to take these ticks all the way to end the rock tunnel to... Wait, oh, it was his Pidgey that was poisoned. It was his Pidgey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. All right. It got me good, to be honest. Yeah, a run to bike is what RTB stands for. There is only two of them in this game, uh, both on the rock tunnel split. Both are honestly not too hard to execute. Um, but if you're a little less experienced and you're not comfortable with it, it definitely can be a little weird. Do you start taking a mart here? I don't... This is off script. This is off script. I'm interested to see what he's doing here. Find some extra pots. Find some super potions. I don't mind it. Math Genius passed that biking section. That biking section is a little tricky for sure. You hit a little run to bike and then you have to do literally tile perfect movement or you hit an optional. So definitely nice to be past that. Yeah, so for for reference here, Auden is starting his second fight in Rock Tunnel. Math Genius is on his last fight in Rock Tunnel, but he has not done the whole surge gym yet. Um, and G Shark starting the first fight on the Rock Tunnel split. So, my uh, biggest trading misses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Math Genius did miss, but he got I think he got Sleep Powder miss back. So yeah. You wouldn't think that, you know, Sleep Powder and Poison Powder and all these moves are also 75% accurate, but because they always hit compared to Mega Kick always missing. G-Shark's kick luck finally evening out and hitting some kicks, so. Uh, let's see what his rock tunnel time is. I'm guessing it's around like a 56.30. I'll just say that. We'll say like 56.25. A little bit of a reference. Write this down. And you start messing up the run to bike uh, and getting punished for it with the hiker trolling a little bit there. On past Martha, I feel like a really bad commentator for not paying attention to that, but he's passed. First race I did, I only had a I only had to watch two feeds, so it was so much easier to keep up with everything, but... Yeah, it's pretty tough. When, uh, basically, every fight is like, you know, something yeah, can happen. Sure. Luckily, Math Genius is cruising now. Uh, he'll have to hit a kick, I believe, on the next fight because he's not in Torrent. Could potentially still get Torrent here if he gets Quick Attack from the Vulpix, but we'll see. Auden fighting the normal guy you fight in Rock Tunnel. And you're not doing Late Surge. Yeah, it looks like Mouse Units did not get Quick Attack there either, so he's gonna have to hit a kick on the next fight. And G Shark is entering Rock Tunnel, so. He didn't repel? What was that? Sorry. Just didn't repel. Oh, yeah, tough. I can imagine his head's probably a little scrambled a little bit after yeah. everything that's happened to him. I, I can't really blame him for for that at all. It's a very tumultuous race for G-Shark, honestly. Like, he, he basically had to do the extra mark because like you know yeah he's just healing. used so much healing items already like it's just so unfortunate what's happened to him i don't know if this is the second slowpoke for d shark for the first one regardless that was a i think that was either a 1 in 16 or a no that was a second slowpoke so that was a 1 in 16 to kill that uh Auden, no, that was the first one i apologize that was a 4 and 16 to kill that
also was not paying attention to Matthews there, but with how long that fight took, I'm guessing he probably missed a kick. But I am not 100% positive. This is a 1 in 16 range. G Shark doesn't get it. Can't really expect to get that, but. Congrats on audio fixed. Let's go. Auden starting Dudley. Uh, okay, yeah, so Matthew has opted to max Ether on the Raticate, I guess. Didn't potentially stall for Torrent and he got rewarded, so. Nice strategy, just another little strategy that Matthew is thinking of that not many people think of. Uh, he grabbed the max Ether in Vermilion. Ekman, the hidden one right in front of the Pokemon Center, which is honestly a pretty good idea. I honestly never really thought about grabbing that one if you, if you're committing to doing X Attack on Lavender Rival, gives you a little bit more opportunities to flex, you know, stalling with it to potentially get Torrent, which he got rewarded with. So, just uh, really smart stuff. Odd and messing up the run to bike. I don't know if he even went for it, but. He got a little trolled there by the guy. Regardless, he's through that movement. Oh yeah, you never really want to be going for spec rival ever in a race. I mean, maybe like in a later round where you need to save a little bit more time, you want to go for it, but. Definitely a smart strat to grab that max ether for sure. And it's not even that much time loss. I would say it's probably around the same amount of time as it is to grab the one in hideout, so. I'm missing his kicks. Uh, he could get, technically get punished here for not uh, healing, healing off that. Her. Yeah, because this Pidgey does have sand, so. Yeah, it doesn't get it though. Um, there, he has to do it again. Wait a minute. Wait a Is minute. That, there's no way. I'm very confused. That's a speed time. <laughs> okay. What? Well, that's funny. It's news to me. He is out of Rock Tunnel with a 101.52. He has like uh, a whirlwind or something. Negative yeah, priority. so I do want to say, like, Matthew is comfortably in the lead now, for sure, after that unfortunate Rock Tunnel. Even with doing late surge. Or early surge. I apologize. Always get my mind scrambled with these early and late stuff. Yeah, how inconsiderate these runners to confuse us, commentators. Imagine it's in torrent so you can bite and then water pulse this Ekans. Yeah, this Ekans is another. Uh, example of just things that are bad in this when you're not torrent with uh, late surge, but luckily uh, Matthewness with his big brain got him into torrent. Uh, Matthewness is the only one in this race not doing early surge. G Shark on Dudley. Auden has no chance of getting torrent for hideout now. Um, so yeah, G Shark and Auden, I mean, they're still relatively close to each other considering they both fought Surge. G Shark's only about, what, six pokes behind, technically. Two and a half fights. So not too much. Definitely some things could happen where G Shark could catch up. Um, we have Math Genius starting this fight. Um, I'm sure he has a revive, so he didn't save. It's, if you have a revive and the HM buddy left, you can just go into this fight. I really have to worry too much. Um, let's, so his defense is 29 Rash. So let's see how much Mega Punch is doing here. 21 to 24. So I think he can take a fake out and a mega punch, which is normally what you want. 
on this fight, I guess. Yeah, there's the fake out. Yeah, so he still takes the Mega Punch, and he's in Torrent now, so this is good. He's going to two-shot. It's a two-shot range, so hopefully he gets this. It's Bite anyway, so... Chillin'. Okay, nice. And this is just... And this is also good health for uh, Surge, which is exactly what you want. You always want to come out in this fight. When you're doing late Surge, you want to come out of this fight in Torrent, so you can... Uh, just go to Surge and cruise, pretty much, and not have to worry about... Uh, Setting up on him. Um, Auden's looking good. He's cruising for a second. Uh, G Shark is about to hit this kick, hopefully. Matthew is going to do some shopping. He's just missing, man. He just cannot catch a break, dude. Like. I feel like every time I look, it's oh just mega gosh, kick miss. Man. I should just not look. He, I mean, he kind of needs to heal this off now. Maybe, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this Oddish only has status moves and sweet scent, so... Healing on it is not the craziest thing. Matthew just did his shopping. I didn't look, but I'm assuming he just did... Typical, you know, an X attack, a couple speeds, a bunch of specs, a bunch of axe. It's classic stuff. Did he get 7x? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm assuming he probably got some extra X accuracies and stuff, so he could do some double X axe stuff. But we'll be, we'll be able to see later whenever he uses some of his stuff, how much he bought. Yeah, and this movement here for that Matthew is doing, uh, running there, interesting. Uh, this movement that he's doing now is just movement that's just simply time loss compared to early surge. You have to bike all the way back. You have to come back. You do get the T early, which is cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, you have to bike all the way from Celadon through Saffron back to Vermilion, and it's just that's. Basically, where a lot, a majority of the time loss comes from for late surge, oh. getting trolled by the pokes. <laughs> uh, G Shark is torrent now. Don't. I mean, he's probably dead to quick attack crit, but I mean, it's one in four, and he has to get crit, so don't imagine he heals here. Yeah. I do want to see how much the Raticate's doing to him, though, with 10 defense. Let's see. Seven to nine. So he's eight. So yeah, I mean, he's dead to quick attack. Kind of sucks. He kind of has to heal it off. He doesn't really have a choice. Matching is nailing the movement. Uh, we'll see how his cans go. Yeah, but seeing where Auden is and where Matthewness is right now, Matthewness is definitely in a comfortable lead. Matthewness has already shopped. He's in the gym. Like, he's, like, he has to... These guys have to evolve. They have to fight Giovanni. They have to shop. They have to get fly. All that stuff with Matthewness is already done. Getting a bad can, but, I mean, what can you do? Hopefully he just gets lucky. Yeah, four possible second cans here. So. All right. G-Shark. be a couple of resets. Yeah, didn't get the first can, so he's resetting. G Shark saying he's not gonna go safe anymore. I honestly respect that. He does want to advance, and he is a little bit behind here, so he definitely needs to start taking on some risk to to go. Right, Auden. If you call, he split EXP on the Oddish. So oh, will he get yeah, 34 that, here? That is a, a big good question. Call. He will. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's easy. Free. That's a good shout. I honestly forgot about that. So, uh, that Onish does not matter. We're I enough. think Math Genius got fourth try can there too, as well, which is very troll. You got one of the worst cans you can get into last try can. So, you start grabbing the Max Ether, which is the other Max Ether you can grab compared to the one Math Genius grabbed earlier. So. 
don't know if you've ever used the like notes on um on like an iPhone, but man, it, it really <laughs> likes to just move my cursor for no reason. I can imagine. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm keeping track of this race. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, so Matthew is he's fighting Surge, so yeah, when you're torn in this fight, this fight is just easy peasy. You don't have to set up, you literally just water gun, water gun, pulse, and you're just through. Yeah, I was honestly worried for Odin there too if he was gonna hit 34, but luckily everything worked out for him. Yeah, so it's completely free from that genius. Now it's he's, he's in torrent. Yep. Yeah, and a blastoise. Yep. And now, I mean, this is where like the route pretty much evens out with the other route. And there's a little bit of stuff later, nothing too crazy, just like a menu difference, but. Pretty much the routes are the same from here. Uh, I mean, I guess technically not with Koga's gym, but yeah, true. And Math Genius has got the T already. These guys have not. He's been to Saffron already, which means he can fly to Saffron later. Compared to uh, the other guys, gonna have to bike there. Math Genius doing his menu. Opting not to put on the black glasses. I forget the strat that that lets you do, but uh, I guess he still has the Persian Berry on. I don't really know what's the point of not just putting on the black glasses there, but. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one. Trying to have all the third time. Yeah, Matt Genius with a really comfortable lead here. I mean, I would not expect him to do anything too risky here. I'd expect him to go really safe and just save for everything. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, he has the Persian Berry on still, so, like, if he can get... If he does get confused anywhere, he just uses it. But, I mean, it's not... It's not too big of a deal. Everything still dies without the black glasses. I mean, you want it equipped before rooting Rival. That's where it really matters. He acts, he attacks. Uh, not in quick attack range. He just goes, he's good. As long as he doesn't miss these 99% uh, uh, kicks, he's cruising. Yeah, 99 because the plus one accuracy stage is just a 33% multiplier. So. Yeah, good shot by Wanda there is too. Like if he would have got hit on another turn compared to getting sand on the turn, he would have been in a really Weird spot. He would have had to stall out some, and then is then like because when you're doing axe strats, like, um, and you have to heal on an extra turn, that means your accuracy or your guard spec, not your accuracy, your guard spec drops before you get to Gyarados, which means you get intimidated by Gyarados, which means it doesn't die at one kick, so it can just be really, really troll. Definitely nice. Definitely happy. He's definitely got to be happy to be through this fight. That's for sure. Who missed that uh, 99% kick in this tournament? Uh, it was Wanley, I believe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He lived on 1 HP. He was arranged to die to Razor Leaf and lived. He's the only person that's missed that so far in the tournament. Yeah, so you see where Odin is now compared to Math Genius. I mean, he's only one fight behind, so really is not that far behind, all things considered. But I mean, it is worth noting Math Genius is already on a Saffron. He's already got the T. I mean, so Math Genius is still a little bit more ahead than it looks like. But G Shark is in Torrent. I believe he tanks a punch. Okay, gets tail up anyways. This is fine. This is probably just potion for Lavender Rival for him. Yeah, it's definitely just potion. <clears throat> this is really good health for Math Genius as well, because he'll just uh he'll double candy to forty two before Koga and then it's he'll be pretty good health and and still in torrent, so so exactly what you want with this route. Odd not saving, worth noting, I mean this yeah, fight goes. 
I mean, this. That's scary. Like, you, like, yeah, I mean. It, yeah, it is pretty scary, but I mean, you, you're very, very likely to be okay. Also worth noting, he did not get any extra X accuracies, so double X ac you know, any fights is not really an option. Yeah, just good setup that he got there. Nice quick attack. I mean, put him in a little bit deeper torrent. Now let's just hit these kicks, and he's cruising. Math Genius is still over there cruising, about to fight the Marowak. Wouldn't expect him to misclick at all, to be honest. Which is the only real re only real way you die in this section or lose time is just misclicking. It's both 99%. Beautiful. Uh, I believe he has another one, so you can kick the Growlithe as well. Yeah, that is a good fun fact. Math Genius is like level 38 right now. And he'll literally, like, if he takes no damage, he'll literally keep Torrent all the way through Erica, which is which is pretty much what you want coming out of Lavender Rival. You want to be able to keep Torrent literally from the point you leave that fight all the way through Erica. What a genius that math. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what pace these guys are on, but I mean. We'll see. But the unfortunate thing that's been happening to Odin and G Shark, I mean, I think things are in my favor to advance, but again, like I don't and I don't like my my homies getting screwed over here, so it's not It's not making me feel great. It's a or it's a weird feeling, I should say. Bittersweet. Bittersweet, yeah. Couldn't find the word. Couple of guys in tower. Right. Yeah. Once you're in torrent, I mean, where Odin is, you're kind of cruising. Again, if you just don't misclick anywhere. And he's at health where he can't really die to two quick attacks on the last fight, which is kind of like the only place you can take damage in here. Yeah, I'm saying it per from here, 210. I mean, there's a lot of things that can happen from here, so we'll see what Might happens. Be counting on perfect at all. Yeah, it's kind of hard team. to count on exactly with everything that can happen from here. Uh, he's good. Let's see if Matt Genius or I mean, Juchar gets his kicks. Matt Genius hopefully he gets no quick attacks, so you can just cruise some more. Don't really have to think about your health too much. Yeah, just get healthless forehead. I mean, easy peasy, right? Just don't say. No quick attack on the first rat. Second rat. Does not quick attack either. All right. So he's he's good now. I mean, he is really cruising now. Especially the fact he's gonna be able to be forty-two for. Koga's wheezing would get you a way better range on it. Changes it from 6 and 16 to 11 and 16. I mean, it's just just crazy good. It's another benefit of Late Surge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just don't save and live everywhere. 118.05 flute. I'll write that down. And then we can track the other guys' flutes when they get there. Yeah, flute is just about where they are like pretty much comparable. Yeah. After at least somewhat more at least search. somewhat yeah, at least somewhat more comparable compared to where it was. Yeah. But Odin's still around what, three fights behind, nine pokes behind, so definitely a couple minutes for sure. I mean Math Genius is definitely on solid pace. Check the spiker pass from Math Genius. 
Take a oh. nice. Ooh, okay. I mean, clean. But I mean, I, I I've never seen that pass done that way. Yeah, I was expecting him to go up, so I was like, wait a minute. But yeah, uh, works. Yeah, I, I mean, I assume it's safe. I mean, Matthew just knows, so. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, when you get past the bikers, you're, I mean, you're so happy because when you're on pace and you get past the bikers, I mean, that's realistically the last place you can hit optionals in this game. These guys are... D starts still kicking over there. Matt Genius is moving. Oh, I don't know if you saw what Matt Genius is there where he dismounted and got back on, but like that's a cool little thing that saves like a half second uh, by skipping audio lag, which is pretty cool. There's a couple of places in the game that you can do that. Matt Genius with some bonks, but I mean, he has been playing Emerald, so I mean, it, and the mock bike compared to. This this game's bike is definitely a lot different. Yeah, if, if we had a mock bike in Firely Freenery, you would be doing perfect movement, Copium. True. Uh, Auden's health is very good right now for Koga. Actually, it's not getting the extra revive. I don't know how many he has, but I'll have to grab that. Um, where did he use the... Let me see, 26. Oh, of course, sir. He is 29 right now at 38. Yeah, so he'll he'll hold this. I'm pretty sure he'll hold this. Wait, so he's 29. All right, here comes the flute split. 121.14. So around three minutes behind Matt Genius is Auden. Three minutes and some change. <laughs> Good luck with the choke. Matt Genius is this, this I mean this this fight's just spam the A button. I mean nothing crazy. Uh we'll check Auden's biker pass here in a second. I mean the safest way is just to go up and then double bag and then you're just safe. So we'll see what happens. Looks like he's just gonna bag. Oh. He's gonna bag. Oh. Oh my. Oh, I mean that was a pass. I mean he didn't hit him. I mean that's okay. Nothing crazy. It was very scary, <laughs> but I mean we're through. It's a little strange. No big deal. I mean, we're past it. That's all. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, that's the, the, the odd pass. I mean, we can definitely call it that. It's okay. It's all good. I mean, you got past the bikers. It's literally all that matters. You didn't hit them. Faster than hitting them. So. Yeah, Matt is going to candy the 42. The strat I was talking about. much faster than hitting them and this is like a opium early surge i mean late surge threat yeah exactly do not try to do this with early surge will Correct the moon though lose saving anyways i mean again i mean he's so far ahead there's really just no reason for him not to save And here's G Sharks. Flute split. One, two, three, three, two. One, two, three, three. What was it? One, two, three, three, One, two, two. three, three, two. Yeah, so here are all of the loot splits right there. I was wondering the amount of time between everybody right now. We'll see how this mutt goes. Acid armor. I mean, this guy is just, just cruising, man. I mean, that's the best thing you can ask for. 
the muck can also go for sludge and minimize, so this acid armor is by far the best thing it can use. Now he just gets this range and he's cruising. I mean, I mean, you get past this, you're literally, I mean, you're so happy getting past Koga. It's the range, I mean, easy peasy. Man. That's for much more than that. Really, he's been flying since uh, Spirit Travel Death. Like, yeah, I mean, and honestly, when you get to this part of the game, you expect a runner like Math Genius to kind of take over as far as like execution. You definitely expect yeah. him to execute a little bit better than um, the other runners, just because of strictly how much experience he has in the game. G Shark also passed the bikers. No bikers hit. I mean, yeah, I don't know the pace, Bob, but I mean, he's definitely on a solid pace. I mean, at least 207, 206 at this moment, I would imagine. Oh, he's top Not three. Exactly. Top three in both categories in this game. I mean, and by far, you know, one of the most experienced runners in this game. I mean, he's played it for so long and just has so much knowledge. Before he even had a capture software. I mean, he was literally. just doing potato cam runs. Yeah. Couldn't stop him. Yeah, I mean, this man literally had a 329 in round two with potato cam. I mean, that's just unreal. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, that's just built different. I gotta say. I gotta say. Of course, he nails the, the tech yep. audio. Yeah, some more audio, audio lag stuff. Was, yep. Save another like half second. Nothing crazy here, just some movement stuff. Repel wearing off in a weird spot. I'm not sure why that is, but I guess he just minion in a different place. No big deal. Uh, just see him grab the Carbos because he's 30 speed. Is that for Sabrina? And Auden, he's jumping into the Koga right now. Right, oh, you're repelled. repelled in front of the water. Okay. Slight misplay. I mean, it's an extra menu to do that, but I mean, normally just do it on the menu where you fly, but not a big deal. Again, he hasn't been playing this game actively right now, so. Give me a little bit of rest, naturally. Not to tell on anybody, but, you know, Math Genius and G Shark did do a little practice race yesterday. That yeah. James came it on top. True. Got like a 210, I believe. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, so Matt Genius is going to do this menu, teaching Blizzard early. Also a different thing uh, compared to the late surge, or early surge route. Late surge Good or early surge. For, our, for uh, Auden. Yeah, so that menu where he just taught Blizzard there, if you had a Sand True, that's also where you teach Strength. That's why it's like faster to get a Sand True. Matt Genius also doing a little bit of tech there. Saving another like half second with some audio lag. I mean, I love that stuff. Like flinch. All right, chilling. Good code for. Oh, you got it, like flinch. Oh, yeah, beautiful. It's just an extra mini flash. Doesn't really matter, right? Um, I mean, if you're saying like he repelled in front of the water Ekman, I mean, it's not just an extra mini flash because. I mean, I. I mean, it's just because you're already pressing start, you just repel, and then whatever. It's frames? I mean, it's it's the audio lag, Bob, so I'm not sure. I mean, it's a bunch of... It's a, it's a good chunk of time there. Not a, a chunk of time, but I mean, you know. Stuff that, you know, us nerds love doing. Yeah, man. <laughs> I didn't see Auden's Kogatang. I'm, I'm choking here. D Shark passed. Kirk. Fair enough, Matt Genius. Fair enough. 11 frames, so not quite half a second, you know, about, you know, what is up? 
like a sixth of a second. It adds up. I mean, if you do enough, you save a whole second. I mean, smart. Hey, Matthew is cruising here. I mean, literally just smash surf when you're in torrent here. E Shark cruising in on the Koga. Let's see his muck. Minimize. I mean, it's the typical muck stuff. Why well, acid armor so good? Because you can just get that minimize and just start chain missing. Ah, it's such an annoying crit, man. It's like one of the worst turns of crit. <clears throat> Odin will be grabbing the Carbos as well. I'll actually write this down, 129.52. Actually gonna write down these times now. Be a good commentator. Didn't get the range. Didn't get the range. The smoke screen on top smoke of that. Screen. <laughs> so much strange stuff happening, I mean. Oh, Dude. God. Oh. Gonna opt to swap. I don't hate it, honestly. Give yourself a little bit of, no. Still just raise your odds a little bit of winning here. Hopefully he just gets to flinch. Come on, man. Nice, okay, nice. he's through. Oh, he bites again. Oh, Please. Don't do it, man. Okay, okay. Not, not punished. Does Kobe heal more than one time? Uh, I do not believe so, no. Hmm. And Surf is a range to kill, right? I'm yeah, full. it was a six, six and 16 for full. So, so I mean, go to be go first, sir. Yeah, yeah, the correct. I mean, yeah, your odds are a little bit safer with just going for the range to survive. But you know, some people still opt to go for that. That, but like, if you just get the flinch, I mean, you just win immediately. Well, normally, if you just surf after you flinch, <laughs> but a little bit of throwing for content, if you will. The show. Yeah, and Matt Genius, as he said, literally perfect torrent all the way through Erica. <laughs> Down to literally perfect. Like, what could he even get hit by when he's uh, when he was at level 38? Like, I, I mean, the rats in Lavender Tower and uh, yeah. wheezing if you miss the range. I mean, Muck can also sludge you, but it normally doesn't. Just funny how that came to fruition. Yeah. So now we look forward or you look ahead to Sylph Rival for Math Genius. Uh, probably just double potion, I would imagine, for him to get to good health for that fight. So he's, he's just looking good. Uh, on on Blaine, uh, this speed, don't have to worry about anything, you just go. He's in Torrent as well, so he's good. Um, let me look at his health here and see what he's looking at for level 44. Yeah, so he would, he will lose Torrent at level 44 by one health, unfortunately. Oh, that's unlucky. Which means he still can go for the X spec. No, you actually, I don't think you can go for the X spec strat. Cause I don't yeah, think- Yeah, cause Tangela doesn't always yeah. attack. I mean, I went for ingrain on Mass Genius, so. Yeah, he normally does, just goes for, goes for ingrain when you're out of range to die to that. Yeah, so we're probably gonna see um, X sac. Or, I mean, no, I guess you could just... technically if you really wanted to do the X-Spec strat, you could spec on the Vile Plume. It'll stun spore you on the first turn. You heal off the stun spore, and then it Giga Drains you on the next turn. Puts you in Torrent. I mean, I guess that's what you could do. I'm not too sure what he'll do there. Uh, that was like a 133, like 45 or something like that for him. I'll say yeah. like 
43. So yeah, he's about four minutes behind Matthews at this point. I mean, I, these guys are still not on bad pace. I mean, Matthews is just on a really good run here. Honestly, yeah, it's a very good race run. No saying yes to Bills yet in this tournament as well. I hope nobody does that mistake. Sure. And uh, I haven't heard of any anybody missing a Blaine question either. Yeah, I think that's also correct, yeah. It's much They're easier to not did. miss a question in this game compared to, like, Gen 1. It's so easy to just mindlessly be mashing in Gen 1 and then you just get a question wrong. But in this game, like, the questions, the text prints a lot slower and... It's, you know, it's a lot easy, a lot easier to you know, answer yeah, the questions just, correctly. Just mash A or mash B yeah, before you exactly. get there. They both clear the text boxes just the same. Right, here comes a save for self rival. So I guess he's not doing 2x back. I mean, his HP doesn't love her. Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like he's going to super uh, turn one, which doesn't matter, really. This could. Opting is super turn one compared to just double potioning. I mean, probably around the same time, I'd imagine. Give them a little bit extra safety to do so. This fight is just act and then spec twice, and then you just gotta hope you hit your blizzards. Two blizzards that you absolutely have to hit. Did he act spec three times there? That was a 136.01. Um, Those are the blame times. Everybody's wondering. The, everybody's curious about the times here and the difference. It's the first blizzard for Mad Genius. Yeah, I don't know if Mad Genius spec. I don't think he spec three times. Maybe I just looked away for a half second. Pretty sure you just yeah, I mean, there's no point. Like, yeah, I mean, if you had a spec a really third time, you would, you'd probably just want to act if you have another turn. Act twice. But... Yeah, I didn't add a torrent for Erica, so you cannot surf turn one. Yeah, exactly. The damage looked like. Yeah, it was weird. Regardless, when you hit your blizzards there, now you're just cruising a little bit for sure. I'm having to go for the blizzard, hits it. I mean. It's one. It's gonna be another. Mm hmm. He does have two times to hit this, by the way. Like, he has two turns to hit this. Okay, just hits. Alright. Hitting the naked blizzards, it's always been a good feeling. I mean, it is faster to do the fight the way he did it there as well, so. And the times are 100% accurate now between the Odd and, and the Math Genius, the difference. Because they've both menued. Actually, once he I gets into Sylph, is. once he gets into Sylph, that's when it's really, because he, Odd's going to have to bike the Sylph or Math Genius since it's the flattest uh, uh, Saffron, not Sylph, but, you know. And I think there might be one, like, minor difference on the Giovanni split, Giovanni 3. It's like a level up or something. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right, actually. Maybe you... you uh, yeah, yeah, you level up. Like, after Giovanni compared to... On the Pidgeot on the rival fight, I believe. Something like that. It's a difference. G-Shark doing his menu. With the Sand True, teaching strength. And the Blizzard. Why Sand True so good? I appreciate the gas. I love calming. I love spreading the knowledge. And I love talking about this game, so. Yeah, spread some love for truly. Clearly, the runners will <clears throat> do so as well by tanking their race. <laughs> uh, really it's, clo it's close, man. It's close. It's going to be really close to see how this race finishes. And I'm not too sure if anybody in chat wants to give us a uh, update on how the other race is going. 
uh, me and Tucker would appreciate that to see kind of how it's going over there. I can kind of take a look here. Um, Nerdy is... I think Nerdy is winning. Cooker in second and Verota a distant third. Let's see, they just got uh, done with Herdy and Rival. Mm -hmm. It's probably like a, a minute separating. I also didn't see what happened on the King is Khan for Matt Genius, but I assume the way his health is, I think he got fake out, and then uh, and then just got the range, 13-16. So really good. We have Auden coming up on Rival. G-Shark is looking good. I think he already specced. I don't know, actually. He might not have specced. He might just be going for this. He is. He hits. Okay. He was dead there, for sure, if he didn't hit that, so. Great. All runners pass Erica. Matt Genius is cruising here. Whenever, you, whenever you're whenever Carbos with 30 speed, I mean. So you just smash the A button on Erica. You love to see it. I guess we'll see you in about half an hour, Ekman. We'll see for sure. Again, I mean, it's it's not the end of the world if I don't. You know, it's not the end of the world. I would like to, but same time. I'll feel more bad more bad about people's race luck next round whenever everybody's just getting knocked out because of their bad luck, where everything actually probably matters way more. Hopefully, Auden can just tap it in with some 93%. It's yeah. the first. I have not missed a blizzard yet in this race. That's the more Ooh. important one to hit. Gyarados can still kill you, but... Um, the AI is weird. Like, Gyarados always kills him here with Dragon Rage, but, I mean, the AI is so weird where it sometimes goes for Bite, and I don't, I don't know why, but... Yeah, it doesn't have to worry about it. Wanley knows how that feels. Does that happen to him in his race the <laughs> last time? Oh, good Wanley, just getting that out of the way, buddy. Genius is cruising, I believe, with his health. I don't know. I think he's a deep torrent. He is. So yeah. He's, he's just mashing A here in this gym for the next five minutes. Only variance is just an unnecessary crit. Mm -hmm. G-Shark not saving. I respect it. He needs to make up the time against Auden. He needs to close that gap as much as he can with Matt Genius. He's trying to advance, so he really... Really needs to save the time here, so we'll see how this goes for him. Spec, spec, ack. We'll see how this goes. Just, you know. Uh, yeah. This is a good torrent all the way through Erica, I believe. Here we go. I don't know if he keeps it all the way through Giovanni, but I mean, he has to get through this first, so. Rage. Okay, it's the Rage. first one. Hey, this is, this might be a clutch plus three here. We will see. It's not. Fortunate. It's still dead to Dragon Rage if he misses this. Don't miss. Okay, doesn't have to worry about it. Good stuff. He's through. Now Genius is still cruising. You have Auden coming up on the Kangaskhan. I'm not sure if he keeps it all the way through Giovanni with this. He might. I can't do the quick math like that, but I don't think he does. 
And didn't get fake out either, so that is worth noting. It's the range. The range, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't keeping the pressure on G-Shark right now. Yeah. Right now, G-Shark's definitely gonna need some... <clears throat> some stuff to go his way. And unfortunately in this game, there's no real YOLOs to take other than, you know, not saving and, and just hoping the other runners die. Yeah. It's the 13 and 16 on that Cubone crits. You go for bite on that Cubone, it's 13 and 16. I mean, it's worth going for, to save the super effective text. I respect it. Odd and starting his fight. He does not have to X speed either, because he Carbos, where G Shark will have to X speed. For Sabrina. <clears throat> Alrighty. So this goes from that here for G Shark. Can be Geo first. I think it's gonna be Mashi. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Correct. Out comes the Kanga. Let me actually see. He's gonna be forty-eight. One forty-five fifty Geo three. So it does um, seem like Odin will keep it for level 47. I believe he'll lose Torrent for 48. Or I, no, I think he's going to keep it for 48. He's going to lose it for 49. Um, shouldn't be that big of a problem, I think. I don't really remember. I mean, I think your serves might matter. It might come down to that. Should be fine though. It's not anything that's a risk to die to. Imagine just saving for this fight. Again, it's another fight where you missed a blizzard, you die majority of the time, so. Sometimes you can tank the range relief, but not always. With Rash 21, it looks like Math Genius is taking 73 to 85 on range relief if you missed. Hopefully he just doesn't miss, but. It is always nice to know that, like, oh, I, if I do miss this, I can tank this, so. Yeah. Which, he would would be a range to die here, but he's a favored range to live, so. We don't have to worry about that. Hits, okay, nice. Through, oh yeah, so my, uh... My guess is right about him losing Torrent on uh, level 49, I believe, as well. Odd and that is. Ooh, G Shark misclicking there. Uh, and acting instead of acting, but uh, he's fine now. Okay. Giving the bit of that two turns to confuse him, two turns to crit him. Luckily, he didn't have to worry about that. Magic just gets Rain Dance, it's good. He can skip the X speed now. Always cool. Guys, Magic is going to be moving into Victory Road. Rodden's going to be moving into Giovanni. And G-Shark's coming into the gym.
Yeah, I'm really bad about telling pace here, but I could pull up my race splits to kind of have an idea of what times these guys are getting right now. Let me see. Do you remember what his Giovanni was, Matt Genius? Yeah, it's 145.50. Yeah, so Matt Genius is on like comfortable. I think he's on comfortable, probably like 207 pace right now. As long as it's just like Let's normal see. stuff. Yep. That would be the uh, second best time. I mean, mm -hmm. absolutely. Given that it goes right. Of course, you can't be in and in, so. Yeah. And it's just, god times. You guys just different. Not allowed to. What, Matt Zinus is ahead of Aroda? That's very crazy. It just... <laughs> Given we much... started like 15 minutes late. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not the craziest thing. I mean, Aroda probably hasn't speedrun the game and... In a very long time, probably over a year since this last tournament, and sometimes IRL is just busy. Don't really have time to play the game much. Maybe a bit tilted because of the Mavericks and what they did last night. Perhaps. So you got a 150, about 45, Giovanni. 47. Sorry, what so did you get? A 150, 47. So I believe that's around probably like... Probably like a 213 pace-ish. That's assuming like, you know... Ooh. A lot of things go A lot of things are going well here. I mean, I don't remember how my splits were in the end game, but... They got a bad Borlai split, so I'm probably more of like a probably more like 212 pace right now. Again, that's assuming you know nothing bad happens. Definitely a bold assumption. With yeah, oh, Matt Genius went for the <laughs> something, uh, something bad will probably happen. Yes, with the Elite Four and more fights. Yeah, but Matt Genius did go for the better movement, or the more optimal movement, but messed up the movement there, so he's going to have to uh, risk some more tiles at the end, I believe, like four extra tiles. Ooh, two more yeah, extras. About, yeah, we're like eight now. How will this affect <laughs> Matt Genius' legacy? <laughs> Use of four missed tiles. Ooh. Auden got a uh, Feather Dance there, I mean... This is a fight where if you get Feather Dance on this turn, you can kind of set up another act if you wanted to. Make it a little bit safer. But also, I mean, it's not really worth setting up an extra act because he tanks Razor Leaf from here, so... Kind of just have two chances to hit the 93%. Yeah. And I don't think he has enough acts. I mean... Yeah, you're correct. Yeah, yeah. I remember that now. See, Matt Genius gets to encounter a lot of tiles. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Did not get punished though. Here's the Geo time, 152.52, easy enough. Yeah. Probably around like 214 pace, I imagine at this point. Yeah, fold. I imagine he behind. doesn't imagine he doesn't really save here from the end. Maybe like the one fight he'd want to save for is like Agatha. That's probably the one fight I'd consider saving for from here to the end. And that's just depending on, you know, where the other racers are at that point. Got Genius stepping into the E4, Lorelai. Let's see how this goes. So about a five minute difference between Math Genius and Odin. About a seven minute difference between uh, G Shark and Math Genius. Which adds up when I'm thinking about the time. Turn one hail for Math Genius kind of stinks. 
turn one hail sucks because like if you get frozen by ice beam you have to force throw that off and that gives you a chance to pretty much get double hail uh which is really annoying it's so slow uh g shark super potion i'm not sure what happened i guess he got crit Multiple times, maybe? I'm gonna go for the bite here. He's safe. I don't believe a crit would kill him. It's a really good flinch, though. Hail's gonna stop. He's gonna go. Nice. Yeah, so, like, when you get hail turn one, like, it just works out the perfect amount of turns where the hail will wear off on the very last turn of the dugong. Uh, getting protect at 55 is pretty annoying. Does it normally happen? But he had double protect. Wow, it's strange. Luckily, it didn't hit the second time. Uh, he is dead to crit with rash 29 defense, looking like 27 to 31. I mean, Matt Genius saying he's gonna risk the crit on Lapras. I'm not a fan. Pokey guy was telling me about this when he did his race. The other day too about how he didn't want to get confused ray but if it's a range to kill you at a crit then i think mm. not the craziest thing to risk but you do have a gigantic lead to where like the time loss on lapras wouldn't be wouldn't really make too much of a difference but we'll see yeah. how it goes it's a with the flinch, flinch though i mean he's smarter than me i'll i'll let him check this crit I'll let him rock nope. okay well it's fine God. This could honestly work out good for him for his health for. I am hearing some swish. I'm hearing some, some violet, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> One of the broadcasters. <laughs> yeah, Matt Gene is getting really trolled there, getting confused. Yeah, body slam para confuse ray and then gets fusion. crit. Yeah, hitting through parafusion is very nice. I'd definitely be happy about that. 54 out of 156 on Bruno. I mean, he's definitely gonna. Oh, oh. Short turn one. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, 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 Not yeah. saving though. Uh, but with Matt Genius, he's really he's smart with this. He will definitely knows how to play around crits on this fight. It's not the craziest thing to not save for this fight if you know how to play around. The, the crits. That being said, I would still save probably with this lead, but that's why he is who he is and that is why I am who I am. Much smarter guy than me. Typical fight here. Spec spec speed. With stalling with a guard spec if you need a little bit more damage. Uh, let's check this roll. That is good enough, I believe. I mean, he went, so I'm assuming he's he knows he's fine. Yeah, he's going to keep it through 54, I believe, now. Which is what you want coming out of this fight. You want to keep it all the way through 54. Yeah, I get those second Gengar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Odden through Victory Road. He'll be starting his Lorelei shortly. Perfect torn, actually. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> it's wild. Which could matter for the the shadow punches. Absolutely. About to come down. Absolutely. But being through Bruno's nice. Hopefully, you can just get through Agatha as well. We'll be checking Odin's Lorelei momentarily. I want to save for Agatha. 
Absolutely. Like, if there's one fight you're saving for in the end game, it's Agatha, without a doubt. So she can go for Shadow Punch, but she can also go for, like, Double Team. Yeah, and and there's like, a Toxic. Yeah, there's a rare occasion where it goes for Toxic, too. Like, things can it's, happen. It's a very strange world. Could have just speeded first there, but whatever. Just, whatever. It's small. Small thing. Double Team turn one is definitely what you want to see. There Shadow it is. Punch. I mean, will he risk the 7 cups into Destiny? He does not. It's going to heal. I respect it. Give yeah. yourself multiple chances. It was just a straight up mega kick there to and Ooh. yeah, that's why. Double that sixty percent. Honestly preferred there. Uh oh, didn't man. see what happened on Odd screen, but it looks like he is fine. Will he risk this one? Oh my gosh. Oh okay. crit. Well, I mean that's Agatha, and that's why you always save for her. So Luckily he has a very, very, very big lead, so death like that isn't too detrimental to this to the race. Is much closer that'd feel way way worse for him things that you hate to see is that um still i i guess like the only implication for mass genius is like he wants to get this under like you know, 211 so that he yeah, stays potentially in pot one. Get, yeah, potentially pot one. Yeah. I think even with that death, he's still probably on pace for that. But yeah, for sure. Like 209, 210 right now. Let's do Gengar, so he's cruising. We'll see Auden's Lapras now. Getting parried. He's going to have to heal for sure right away. Cannot run away from Trainer Battle. <laughs> Oopsie. G Shark, I mean, these guys are not that far apart now. I mean, Odin and G Shark, to be honest. Yeah, same fight. Bunch of pokes apart, but. In full setup away. Yeah, 21001 needed, or 21002 needed for pot one. Ekman is letting us know that. Alright, Odin is three, did not get paired. Very nice. Good stuff. Yeah, that hack of the death could make the difference here. If he needs a sub 210 to get there, really. Mm -hmm. Hack those down. G Shark's biting. So he's through. Yeah. Pretty sure Ekman does have that 21002. So yeah. Like Ekman said. Yeah, pretty much if Matthew needs beats Ekman's time, he'll bump Ekman down into pot two, and Matthew needs will take that pot one spot. Uh, yeah, Matthew's got a full restore for this fight. Typical. He's fine. We'll check on him in a second. We'll see how the setup goes for Auden. We just got news that Cooker has achieved a low 214 in the OX territory. So that beat truly. Lightly. Very slightly, ever so slightly. No big deal. See what happens here with these guys. Uh,. I think the rule is that generally you just want one one racer from each of these races to yeah. do worse than you. So I think, yeah, you're chilling because G-Shark is not going to get that. Uh, Auden needs to stall another turn. That's not good enough health for him to go, but he goes. This health is not great. We will see what happens here. He could get Rock Tomb. He might want to guard spec an extra turn. Don't know where Matt Genius is in his setup. That looks like it looks like he was going for Bite Bite Blizz. Yes. Which th those were two those were good bite rolls, so this Blizz should definitely kill 100 percent I would imagine. I really miss wow. Oof. What a what a universe. XD. Oh, he misses the range. Oh. Um. Yeah, that's my bite bite blizz. Wait, the Gyarados? Oh, he did. Can he not heal on the turn that he's recharging, I guess? I don't Yeah, know. that's that's correct. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. Oh, Auden died to Oh my. Bruno, I feel really bad for missing that because I was watching yeah, Matthew so hard. Uh so now we're gonna look at Auden. I mean Matthew is with his health, he's cruising. He can't really die here. Wow, so G Shark is actually in second now. 
<laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Which means that you are ahead, surely. Yeah, Both. so. Sure but we should be good here. Uh, I don't, know where, I don't know where he is in his setup here. I don't know where Matinus is, or I mean G-Shark is in his setup. I think he needs a speed now. He does. Uh, will this be enough damage? It is. Yeah, Looks he should good. go. Go, 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 go. Just go. We're good. Okay. A bit of hesitation there, but... Yeah, sometimes you just need to think about it for just a half second. Just like kind of think yeah, like, okay, am I good enough? Auden is good as also well. Good. Does he keep it? All the way through 54 that's the question i think he does if he gets like a plus two and a plus three oh he doesn't get a plus four i think he should be fine yeah these yeah. guys are good these guys are good they're surfing they're through bruno <clears throat> yeah plus six total would not be good plus five is fine yeah. all right looks like <laughs> that's how it is in races thing. map genius he's so many. Better have too many than too little, so. I mean, it is worth noting, I mean, G Shark and Odin are literally neck and neck here. I mean, one poke difference. Let Agatha decide. We'll turn our eyes to and, Math Genius, see how this champ goes for him. And I think this is really close to being, like, on the bubble for. An elimination yeah. by time. Like, it is. Wow, it's man, a horrible turn is, one. Matthew is, is really close to. It's crit on the turn he sets up the guard spec. This is. Oh my god, man. Wait, his rolls have been horrible. Actually, ideally, he gets Aerial Ace on this turn. I mean, Sand would be better, but. Okay. There's Sand. Okay, so he, he's plus three. Gets Aerial Ace. Don't do it. Okay. So he's plus three in Torrent, which means you can go for the Bite. Bite Surf. Bite, bite Surf on Venusaur, which is way better than just having to risk the Blizzard. You start getting double Shadow, Shadow punch. punch, I think. He got double Shadow Punch there because the way his HP was. It just hit. These guys literally could just be synced right now if they both hit right now. Uh, no, this is... this is again. Oh, he has to heal again. Or is he going to go for it? Oh, oh I feel like you have to go for it. I mean, oh, he misses too. He misses too. Holy. Is he that going to kill it for both of the runners? Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, dude, he's just chain missing. G Shark's ahead now. He's, he's surfing. Holy moly. Matt Gene is on the, other, on the other screen. He is good. He will 100% he will play safe. I'm sure of it. He'll heal on the Gyarados, he'll be fine. And he'll be he'll finish this out as long as he doesn't misclick. Yeah, for some context, both of G Shark and Auden are like really on the border of like 215, which is you know, if you get a 215, you're eliminated from yes, tournament. Exactly. Oh man. Alright, well they're both getting past Agatha. Yep. Mad Genius is going, maybe he gets a flinch here for the lulls. He does not. R misses the blizzard. Misses ah, this. cringe. Gonna have to heal again. Okay. No crit. So yeah, just heal here. And that can make the difference too. With, yeah, uh, that can make the difference between pot one. And... He's going to pot one or pot two. Oh yeah, two. good, good, good shot by head bob there. He did not X act, so it isn't a seventy percent blizzard. Because you don't set up the X accuracy when you're plus three in torrent. Good shot. He hits the next one. It's the next one, and now he just wins. He cannot lose from here as long as he, you know, yeah. doesn't misclick multiple times. Just a couple inputs and GG from Asinus. GG. It looks like a 209. So yeah, it's around it's around 59 seconds when it fades to black after yeah. this fight. So yeah, it's 209. 209 for sure. That'll GG be a call one runner. Absolutely. Actually, I have to check. Nerdy got a 209.21. Ooh. So this is finishing it. behind Nerdy. Yeah, it is. Um, but it's still solidly pot one. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, Ekman barely getting popped down into pot pot two. Yeah, unlucky. Yeah. 
but yeah, definitely was an unlucky death to Agatha too. I mean, this fight, I mean, he definitely would have had like a, what, a 207 here if he doesn't have a slow, a slow Agatha death. Which to be frank, I mean, it was a that very, a very uh, slow death there too. And that was like the only main real thing that went wrong for him in this round too, was that. Oh, good, Matthew. You can just hop in here whenever you get a, you can just click in here and join in. I'm just hyper beam from Gyarados. All right, he's the Blizz. He went for Bite Bite Blizz. This is a range. Gets it. On it with a worse HP than matching his head. I believe. Ooh, that was a scare. I mean, I respect going for the Blizz there, but if he misses that Blizzard, I mean, he's he's dead to Hyper Beam, so. Yeah. But as close as it is, I mean, oh, it's they're, they're one poke apart. So. I mean, yeah, G Shark got incredibly trolled on. Rival 2. Other than that, his run has been very smooth, but... Oh, that Rival 2 was absurd from him. I don't think either guy is X-Act here. I don't know. Or double X-Act. I don't... I have no idea. That was watching that genius so hard. Regardless, hopefully they just keep hitting if they are just single act. Good. All right. Um, G Shark should live crit here, so he should be fine. Yeah. He was out of hyper beam range and lived crit, so he's fine. Uh, no boost. He's through. No, even, no, there, so th this would have been fine if he got a boost, would have been slow. Oh, yeah, because he's in torrent. Exactly. I mean, it loses time to get the boost. Oh, yeah, there, but, 100%, 100%. Which can definitely matter. But if you're out of torrent with the boost, it's a range. I don't, I'm not sure what the range is, but I'm sure somebody knows. But I'm not the person that knows that. Wonder why GE Shark does not have the elixir. Hello, Math Genius. Congratulations Welcome. on your win, buddy. Very, very solid performance out of you. Unlucky death on Agatha, but other than it that, it was just boat rival and Agatha. I think every everything else went really smoothly, so I'm I'm really happy. I I don't think I made any like major mistakes either, so I'm happy with how that went, mm -mm. especially for. Yeah first round absolutely i'm watching i mean you executed very well you definitely made really good decisions with your stalling for torrent when you weren't in range in certain places and yeah it's also a good shout by pokey out here uh unfortunately neither d shark or Auden can now advance in the tournament but that's brutal uh, that's hopefully tragic. these guys can finish out strong and maybe one of them can you know beat the other one just to have something gotta go for yolo champ <laughs> something I don't know. It probably not even possible with that. Yeah, even the I think at this point, the, I, I think at the, if they know, then they might as well just try and finish the race. Yeah. It's Jover. It's just Jover. Um, but yeah, I mean, anything you know you want to note about your run, Matt Genius? I mean, I I did like your plays you made on uh, the Rock Tunnel and Giovanni split by stalling. On yeah, there were a lot of with, there were a lot of like. Cheeky little YOLOs that I did. Um, I know that I, ba I basically YOLO tackle miss on Brock. Um, because oh I knew my that, gosh! Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna. Re I knew I was gonna reset anyway because it would have been faster to reset and redo the fight than it would have been to heal and then waste like a lot, a lot, a lot of turns trying yeah. to get back into torrent. So I'm just like, okay, if I miss the range, then you know, <gasps> it sucks for me. Oh. But I was gonna go anyway, and then I, yeah. I was doing one because I missed two tackles. I missed two tackles. And on the other screen, G Shark got growth so he could double X Ack. Holy moly. Good try, Auden. Yeah. Good try, he brother. Didn't save either. Which is absolutely correct. Very unfortunate. <sighs> Unfortunately, I, I know X Ackless. It was, it was so yeah, tough. I, to, I know. I was, I was watching. I was kind of checking in on the races i saw they had they had a really bad time in like rock tunnel and uh yeah and, I mean, like just like kicks in general i think they had yeah like, g shark really luck. And I, they, man, especially he, oh my goodness i can't yeah. even I, he missed at least like eight nine kicks i want to say like this absurd stuff it was gross yeah i think yeah. i only missed like two so yeah. I, uh, no wait i missed uh g shark needs to heal this heal that brother no wait i missed like no i missed uh four I think I missed one on my boat rival death. I missed one on Haley, and I missed one against. I missed two against Dana. So I think that was it, though. Yeah. The shout out to Auden. 
Yeah, definitely was really yeah. unfortunate luck that he got in this race. I mean, crazy definitely. stuff. It's crazy unlucky. Um, and Adley, if you want to jump in here for interview, feel free. If you don't, I mean, I definitely understand. Um, you start getting crit by that and tapping it in with the blizzard hit. Oh, uh, Aladdin, GG. Sorry for the luck that you got. But, um, yeah. Wait. G Shark gets the dub. Yep, G Shark coming in second in the race. Unfortunately, neither guy will be advancing. PSR TV with the raid. What's up? We're just finishing out this race. I do want to say, though, um, that the fact that a 215 can't even advance is just a testament to how much um, the field overall has improved, you know, from year to year, which absolutely as much yeah. as it as much as, as much as it sucks that now you have to you have to get so much like less unlucky just to kind of just to kind of advance out of the first few rounds. I, uh, you know, I do think it is a good thing that you know everyone is kind of getting better and yeah, it is cool to see like the community. Yeah, the community as a whole is definitely just elevating skill level every year. It's really cool to see. Oh no, next year yeah. is gonna be two ten. Oh no, I'm so <laughs> dude, just you seen Blizzard on that last fight, man. I mean, anything you want to highlight oh, yeah, about was... your race or anything? I mean. I was thinking that I don't know how it went in the other race today, but I I was like I have to have sub 215, so I can't really use all of my setup because then I will get. Yeah, yeah I mean you're not right. Really you do have to there get too. Also, GG to Sheet Shark 215 28 finished, getting the 28 for Truly. I love it. Um, yeah, so maybe with exact less, I could have gotten like 215 10 maybe, but yeah, matter, once you. By the time you started champ, it was not possible anymore. Uh, yeah, it's just really unfortunate stuff. At, I mean, at, uh, the death on Bruno really got, sealed it. Yeah, both you all got really, really unfortunate. E4s, G Shark, and Odin. Welcome in, G Shark. GG yeah. on your finish. Sorry for your luck. Yeah, that, I mean, that's all you can say. I made, like, I didn't play perfectly. I made two notable mistakes, but, like, those mistakes wouldn't have mattered if I just got a reasonable amount of luck in the early game, which I just never do. That rival was kind of hard to watch. Yeah, I mean, it was, <laughs> it was, that shit was tough to watch. I'm not gonna that lie. That rival was annoying, but what made it in absolutely infuriating was the fact that it only was that bad because of a 5% tackle miss on Misty into a critical hit. Yeah. Like, that's yeah, that insane. Was, you can't play around. If you wouldn't have got crit on Misty, everything would have been so much If smoother. I didn't get the tackle miss or the crit, everything was fine. But because I got both on Misty, yeah. I was absolutely fucked. That lost me, like, five minutes. Yeah, it was just yeah. absurd, man. Like, that that alone, a 5% into a 6.25% lost me, like, five minutes. I would have I would have had a 210-something, even with all the other mistakes. Which, again, I did not play perfectly. I should not have withdrawn on Brock right after healing, even though it should have uh, rock tuned me anyways. That rock tomb miss cost me like a good 20 seconds. But I should I should have tail whipped instead of withdrawing early, and then I should have <laughs> hit the fucking optional in rock tunnel because I was yeah. playing I was playing annoyed and frustrated. Yeah, understandably so. I mean, that was just a lot of unfortunate things happening there, man. Yeah, yeah and uh, I kind of the whole the only reason. Section. The only reason this time is even, like, even close to the cutoff now is just because I played, but I played ballsy and stupid risky for the remainder of it. I saved for Agatha, and that was I saved for Agatha, and that was it. After like, after what? like, I don't know, Koga. Realistically, I don't know. No, I I hadn't say no. I didn't say for Koga. Um, I didn't even say for Lavender Rival. Nope, I didn't say for Lavender Rival. Like I day, probably the last save was. Probably surge. Yeah. yeah. And dude, so, at home. Yeah. yeah. Iron just posted that the cutoff two years ago was a high two eighteen. Yeah. And now it's uh, mid we're about four years. minutes, four minutes under that now. It's kind yeah, of crazy. every every year is two There's minutes. No faster. leeway now. Even really next year it'll be two twelve. <laughs> oh yeah. Also, yeah. by the way, not just dying to surge. Last can. Bottom right. Yeah. 
I do want to. One of the no things I want to note is Auden had a crazy good surge fight. Like, the, oh, I've yeah. never seen Lord, a... that was absolutely. It was what turn one shockwave into torrent, and yeah. then you just yeah, two yeah, shot yeah. it from so there. First... Yeah, and then yeah, the citrus. He hit the citrus, so it was and just got the yeah, citrus two shot. Yeah. That's that's wild. Yeah, I'm, I'm so happy got... for Auden, but I'm so infuriated that citrus berry strats worked. Yeah, you also got like pretty, <laughs> pretty godly gans too. Yeah, it was the fourth can I shake? In a fight like that, almost makes you want to run early surge time. next round, Kappa. <laughs> almost. So It'll definitely be interesting to see the difference between, uh, you know, early and late surge the next round. Um, yeah, I feel like a lot, lot more runners will be doing early. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, I mean, GG's to all three of you. I mean, it was really fun to watch and to commentate. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, any final words you guys want to say? Or Late surge wins again. Late but surge wins again, again, but even though the, yeah, right. I kind of got bad, uh, bad HP after after surge though, because um, the first fight after that was what lost me the the run, because I got like yeah paralyzed, poisoned, and poisoned. I got poisoned on both uh, war, war turtle on my Pidgey, and then I got paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I. Uh, I leveled up my Pidgey like to level seven. Oh yeah, yeah. We were worried about yeah. that too. We didn't think it was gonna work out, but it ended up being fine. You have a little yeah. bit of the XP leeway. But I feel like I lost like one and a half, Giovanni. two minutes of that fight. Yeah, that, and then, that makes uh, sense. Then I had to YOLO Elite for a bit, which uh, yeah, didn't go well. I yeah. should have just have run with poor again. <laughs> You did, though, fellas. Uh, it was really fun to watch. Um, you guys definitely put on a good race for the final race of the first round. So, yeah, it was um, it was mad fun watching um, the the slots get filled out for round two. So, absolutely good content. Um, even yeah, though that'll yeah exactly. That happened like that for sure. And uh, yeah, that's just gonna be it for us here on for round one of the 2023 Fire the Green 80% tournament. Um, if you are interested. Uh, I believe tomorrow at around three o'clock Eastern, three or four o'clock Eastern, the round two draws will be happening over on PSR TV, Pokemon Speedrun TV. Uh, if anyone wants to tune into that, feel free. Uh, and yeah, any last words, guys? We got them next oh. year. Yeah, next year for sure for these guys. Next year, next year for sure. Um, but yeah. I've been saying that every year, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Everybody have a good day. And again, if you want to stick around, I mean, this was literally only round one. We have like four more rounds left, so stay tuned. The best is yet to come.